Apoie a Brasil Paralelo. Investindo apenas R$10 mensais, você se torna um membro patriota e ganha 15 dias de acesso ao nosso melhor plano como cortesia. Clique no link da descrição e saiba mais. As narrativas são a maneira fundamental pela qual organizamos nossa vida e nossa história. É por meio delas que contamos não apenas para os outros, mas para nós mesmos quem somos e o que almejamos, o que herdamos e o que queremos legar. Há uma tendência para nós pensar em narrativas como ficções, como coisas que não são verdadeiras. Whereas, in fact, they convey a kind of truth that cannot be conveyed in any other way. When people remember their biographies, when they are going back to their childhood or going back to their adolescence and trying to see themselves as individuals and build their own identities, they make their life into a story. This is also the importance of myths and rituals that they transfer from generation to generation, from individual to individual, information that can only be conveyed indirectly. There are certain things that cannot be, that are diminished as soon as they're stated in simple language. If it were not so, we wouldn't have poetry, we wouldn't have jokes, we wouldn't have all sorts of things that simply cannot survive being turned into another kind of language. So, narratives, are central, they're not inferior to other kinds of knowledge or information. They are working at the highest level of knowledge and information. We love stories. And what's really amazing is when you're in an old city, you get this sense of narrative. There'll be the small street that leads to the public square, and in the public square there'll be the big church or the big temple, and um, or there'll be the famous house, and you'll know it is because it has the big towers on it. And even if it was built 500 years ago, it all makes sense to you. So it tells a story. Great buildings tell stories, and then they cause you to remember them because you remember the sequence of things in a way like a story. So in an ancient world, for example, in the medieval times, the images you would see in church. And so, yes, you would, could look at them and you would see them as beautiful, or you could maybe go to the town hall and see these paintings of historical events. And so, yes, you would see them and they would be beautiful, but they would also make you participate in your story. They would remind you of important events in your history, remind you of things that bind us together. A beleza quando dizemos que ela precisa de uma narrativa, essa narrativa são as próprias obras de arte, as grandes obras de arte. Elas apresentam aspectos tópicos da beleza. Elas mesmas são a própria narrativa. <música> 